For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Over the weekend, actor Christopher B. Duncan would make headlines after defending his family from social media users online. The discussion would begin after Duncan shared a photo of himself along with the rest of his immediate family on Instagram. In the caption, he would reveal that his wife played Braxton's girlfriend Cameron, known by fans as a GPS gal on The Jamie Foxx Show. Now the two have been together for over 25 years and have three children together. Many were shocked to discover the on-screen couple were together in real life. After sharing his family with his online fans, he would thank fans for their support and loving thoughts, but will also have words for those who negatively spoke on his interracial relationship. In a separate family post, Duncan would say, I want to thank all of you for the overwhelmingly kind responses to the photos of my family. It's clear that a lot of you weren't aware that Susan and I are married and have been together for over 25 years. In addition to all of the love in the comments section of my posts and those people have shared on Facebook, it didn't go unnoticed that there's some hate and judgments out there as well. Many of you have asked me how I feel about those who stand in judgment of interracial relationships. Well, this post will give me an opportunity to address those questions. I've never lived my life to appease others, period. Love is a gift. Hate doesn't deserve attention. Yet, it's an ugly reality in life. If one doesn't like interracial relationships, then they shouldn't have one. In years past, I've dated black women, white women, and brown women. I adore and respect women, period irrespective of race. My parents didn't raise me with blinders on when it comes to race and love. I hold my wife's hand with pride, joy, and profound love in my heart for her. She's an amazing, loving, bright, incredible, talented woman. Plus, I couldn't have asked for a better mom to our children. By the way, for those of you who aren't aware, she's done major leading roles on Broadway in years past. During one of the revivals of Greece many years ago, Susan played the leading role of Sandy alongside Rosie O'Donnell and Brooke Shields. Her list of additional credits is extensive. Nothing but best wishes to everyone vibrating from a place of love, decency, and kindness. To those who aren't, I still wish you well. Peace. Duncan's caption received a lot of support and love from fans and peers like Terry J. Vaughn, who would react in the comments by writing, Love, beautiful people, beautiful spirits, beautiful love. Another social media user would say, forget the haters. You and your wife managed to keep the family together in a world where people walk out daily. It takes work, courage, and loyalty to stay in love every day. Now, this isn't the first time Duncan would comment on his interracial relationship, nor was it the first time he would speak on the topic in general. Back in 2021, through an interview with Comedy Hype, Duncan would give his thoughts on whether or not someone can be pro-black while dating a white woman. Of course, I'm a black man. Black folks and white folks have different experiences in this country. I'm very much aware of institutionalized racism. I'm in touch with it. I've experienced parts of this poison called systemic racism. It exists. We all know that. Thank goodness I have a wife who at least understands the ugly truths there that are there, right? But I don't believe in limitations with love. When it comes to love, I don't care, irrespective of which race is falling in love with another race. Again, I just didn't grow up with blinders. So what do you guys think about Christopher B. Duncan's thoughts on interracial relationships and whether or not you can be pro-black while dating a white woman? Let us know in the comments below. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Check out Hype Market for all your cool and original merchandise. And for our YouTube viewers, if you like this story, send us a super thanks by hitting the button below and you can tip us what you want to show your support. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. What's going on everybody? It's your boy E. Mays and I am here with Hype Hunter today and we are at the Garden Bar at Hype Studios. And I am so happy to have Auntie from the Bookstore Gallery here with me today. And today she's actually brought us something special. 
I really want to try this. Tell me a little bit about it. Ha Ha Hemp is a collaboration with Comedy Hype. John of Comedy Hype was hey. the one. <laughs> Shouts out the home team. There you go. <laughs> he was the one who came up with the idea of having a tea that helps you laugh daily. Oh. Drink tea. Laugh daily. Ha Ha Hemp. Hemp. hemp basically is a plant. It's the cousin to the marijuana plant. People often ask, well, is it gonna get me high? Uh, no, it's not gonna get you high, it's gonna get you chilled. That's what hemp does. All right, this is your boy's first taste at Ha Ha Hemp. Oh. Oh, that's good. Is it really? That's You're good. just saying that, right? <laughs> no, that is good. Head over to HypeMarket.com for our platform. We have all her products listed there. And that doesn't fit your fancy. You can head down to the bookstore gallery, speak with Auntie herself, get a little bit more information, run, whatever you need to do, Google search, put it in your computer, on your phone. Go get this product. Thank you very much. This is amazing. Amazing.